Six mistakes people often make when visiting Sapa. Hi, my name is Sing. I am a creator a trek into Sapa. Are you planning a trip to Sapa, Vietnam? It's a beautiful destination known for its breathtaking landscapes and vibrant hill tribe cultures. However, like any travel experience, there are certain mistakes that can turn your trip into a less enjoyable one. To help you make the most out of your visit, we've compiled a list of the six most common travel mistakes when visiting Sapa. By being aware of these pitfalls, you'll be better prepared to have a memorable and hassle-free journey. So right now, let's go. Mistake one, not giving enough thought to the weather. Sapa's weather can be unpredictable, especially during the rainy season. Many travelers make the mistake of assuming that the weather will be rainy, warm, and sunny throughout their visit. However, temperatures can drop significantly and fog can obscure the stunning mountain views, or sometimes it can be very beautiful after one hour of fog or rain. It's crucial to pack appropriate clothing such as layered outfits, raincoats, and good shoes. Being prepared for sudden weather changes will allow you to fully enjoy the natural beauty of Sapa. Mistake two, not doing enough research on the trekking and hiking routes. Sapa is known for its trekking and hiking, and many tourists are excited to check out the beautiful trails. But it's a common mistake to not plan out the paths before going trekking. Some trails can be hard and require you to be fit and have a lot of energy, especially the Fansipan hike. It's important to plan your hikes ahead of time, think about your physical skills, and pick routes that match your experience and personal tastes. Hiring a local guide can also improve your hiking experience by giving you useful information and keeping you safe. Mistake three, overpacking or underpacking. Overpacking is a common mistake that can make you feel heavy and take away from your trip. Even though you might want to bring everything you might need, it's important to pack light and well. Keep in mind that you'll probably be doing a lot of walking and trekking, so it can be hard to take things you don't need. Pack clothes that can be worn in different ways and only the things you really need. This will not only make your trip more relaxing, but it will also give you room to bring back souvenirs. On the other hand, if you don't pack enough, you might not be ready for accidents or other unplanned events. Mistake four, not booking a tour or homestay before come yes. It is possible to arrive in Sapa and book a trekking tour or homestay. However, this approach may not always guarantee a high quality experience and you could end up in a large group or have a guide who is not experienced. To make the most of your time in Sapa, it is advisable to book your tour online in advance, to join a smaller group or even a private tour. Many local women will offer you tours with larger groups once you arrive at the bus station. Even though some of these guides may not be experienced, it is important to consider your preferences and the kind of experience you are looking for. Booking online before you arrive in Sapa will enable you to choose a tour that fits your preferences, ensuring a custom and enjoyable trip. Mistake 5. Overlooking the local culture and customs. Sapa is home to several ethnic minority groups, and each has its own rich traditions and beliefs. Many tourists make the mistake of not paying attention to the local culture and customs, and as a result, they miss out on some great opportunities. Learn about the nearby hill tribes, their customs, and how to act around them. Respect their way of life, dress modestly when you go to a town, and ask permission to take photos before you do. In Sapa, you'll get more out of your trip if you talk to locals and take part in cultural events. Mistake six, disregarding safety guidelines. Sapa's trekking trails can be challenging with slippery paths and steep drops. Ignoring safety guidelines such as venturing off marked trails, not using trekking poles when necessary, or taking unnecessary risks for photos can lead to accidents and injuries. Always prioritize your safety and follow the instructions of your guide or local authorities. By being aware of these six common mistakes, you can make sure your trip to Sapa goes more smoothly and is more fun. Remember to pack for the weather, study trekking routes, pack light, book trekking and homestays in advance, and learn about the local culture and customs. By avoiding these usual mistakes, you'll be able to get the most out of your trip to Sapa.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please have a, a thumbs up and share it to your friend. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you like this video in the future, please let us know by comment below. And I will see you in another video. Bye bye.